so we're going to put the goggles on, we're going to start the course, you're going to go through the course, do the best you can, make sure that you have two stop signs, make sure you stop at the stop signs. Driving school is in session. Today's lesson, driving while intoxicated. We're out in Imperial Beach today at the Mar Vista High School to promote the Start Smart program. Of course, no alcohol was actually consumed. Nice and slow. And try to stay between the cones. It just looks that way. Turn it to the right. Oh! This activity was part of the My Drive event. Which is a program to help teens understand the responsibilities that uh, they need to have in order for them to drive safely. Start off straight ahead here. We're going to make a quick little left turn. We really want to bring awareness and make this as realistic as we can for them. On this course, the cones represent pedestrians. You're doing very good so far. Thanks. Sorry, kid. It's fun for them to do, and they can drive the course uh, that it's regulated by deputy sheriffs here in Imperial Beach. It's all blurry to me. I can't even see nothing. It's a safe way for teens to experience the dangers of driving under the influence of alcohol. And getting safe driving information out is one of the goals of the sheriff's Start Smart program. And stop right here. Whoa. What we do is that we give uh, the first time student driver or those student drivers that are about to get their driver's license, just make them aware of some of the responsibilities that it takes to have their driver's license and also uh, some of the stuff that they could avoid uh, being in a collision themselves. The drivers wear special goggles that are made to simulate different levels of intoxication. They are not a fashion statement. Well, I had to wear these goggles that were called beer goggles and they make everything look all dizzy so I couldn't see a thing. This driver's name is Ramon. You've already met his dad. He's taken the driving test and as a 14 year old you can tell that he's not ready to be driving yet. Most teenagers will get their license to drive when they turn 16 with some conditions. You're given a provisional driver's license and that provisional driver's license is that you have to show uh, that you're able to drive for one year which means that you can't drive after curfew hours, which is 1030. And you can't have any passengers under 20 years of age. That's going to help out uh, significantly in bringing down the collisions that come across with uh, distracted driving when it comes to teenagers. First test, what I want you to do is I want you to put your feet together, heels touching toes. Go ahead and do that now. Part of the learning experience involved taking the sobriety tests given by sheriff's deputies. They made us walk in a straight line so you can see if that you're not drunk. And they also had to put your foot up in the air for like six, six inches to make sure that you're also not drunk. And they also do a breathing test. I did not pass any of the tests, except for the breathing test. That's like the only one I passed. And the message was quite clear to all those that participated. Don't drink and drive. It's going to get you in jail. It's going to mess up your family. It's going to mess you up.